Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here. And today we're gonna to take a look at Duet AI and Workspace in action in Gmail. So I'm gonna give you a few prompts. So once the video is concluded, look in the description field down below this video because I'm gonna give you some starter prompts that maybe you can start using in your Duet AI as well. So once again, just to kind of review, Duet AI is Google's new workspace add-on that is a part of Workspace's accounts. It is not a separate program. So it's gonna be embedded inside of your Workspace account. Now this is a paid feature. So it is only available to certain accounts, not just a free Gmail account like you would use with say Bard or ChatGPT. So how does it work? So let's get started. So in my new message box in the lower right corner of the screen, I have it turned on in my account. And down at the bottom, I'll see this new icon next to the A for formatting. It's gonna be help me write. So when I click on this, it's gonna give me a prompt at help me write. So I'm gonna click on that. And then it's gonna give me a box for me to type in my ask. What am I trying to get done here? Now, one of the sneaky things that you can do is just have a bunch of already prepared prompts. I keep mine in my Google Keep. So in the upper right corner of my screen, if I kick out my Google Keep, I'll see my Gmail prompts. And if I go into that, I can quickly copy and paste any of the prompts that I want to use here. So I'm going to come into this box into my help me write. I am going to paste my one that I've copied. And actually, you know what? I am just going to do one of those, not all of those. And I am going to have Duet compose an email to schedule a meeting with Greg, the new CEO, to discuss our success services and ask him where, when he's free, and I wanna keep the email short. So we're gonna click on Create. You'll see in the upper portion of the email, it is composing it, and now it's created it for me, all within the matter of a click, and I don't have to think about it. I don't have to try to compose it in a way that it's gonna sound good. So I can do a quick read of it. I like what it says, or meh. I can rate the suggestion as being good, bad, or meh, give some feedback. And then down at the bottom, here's the important tools to look at. You'll see recreate if you're just not happy with what the response is. And then just to the right of that, you'll see an option to refine. Now refine will give us an option of, uh, this is a little too casual, let's formalize it. Or elaborate, we wanna stretch this out and give maybe a little bit more detail. Shorten it up, you're giving me too much. And then I'm feeling lucky, just like the old Google, I'm feeling lucky in the search bar, that you've probably seen, maybe have been tempted to use once before. So you can click on any of those and refine and do whatever you would like to do with your response from there. Now, just a quick tip, those same options and the same type of feature is gonna work in Google Docs as well if you've got Duet AI. So if I'm happy and I know it, I clap my hands, we click on insert. Now it's inserted that pre-created email for me. And if I need to tweak this, Anything here is editable. So you'll see it's already personalized it because that was part of the ask. But then I can just sign whatever I want or maybe I just eliminate that piece because I already have my thank you and have a great day piece down at the bottom of my email. If I need to, I can also just tweak the font just so it matches the rest of what I have, which in my case is going to be Georgia. And I can create my what I want to do as a subject line. You'll see, depending on what you have as the content, if you just click inside of your subject line, it may predetermine and fill that in for you. So we'll just say, yes, please add my recipient and I am off and running. So once again, Duet AI, great tool, great time saver. And here's another really cool piece. You'll find the same feature on Gmail mobile. So you can actually use this if you've got that set up for your account on your mobile device, whether it's your iPhone or your Android. Just look for that same type of button. Until we meet again, another day, another time, another tip, trick, hack, or update. And don't forget, look in the description. I'm gonna give you five, actually six, pre-done, get started with type of prompts that you can use for your email. And with that, this is Gary the Google Guy, signing off.